This video will describe some common problems you may encounter while running the Temperature Check and Thermal Comfort plugin from Design Builder Software Australia. If you have not already done so, please refer to the tutorial video for detailed instructions on running the plugin. I'll now go through a few reasons why things might not go to plan when running the plugin. First of all, the loaded building model must match the simulation output data. If you have loaded a building model but have not run an annual simulation before you try to generate a report, you can have a mismatch since the plugin will read the output of the last simulation run, which may be from a different model. The plugin will detect this problem if the current building model has different zone names to those in the simulation output and will display this message when you try to generate a report. All occupied spaces must have their NCC building class identified with a special label in the occupancy schedule name. If you missed some occupied zones when adding labels or made an error adding the label, you will get a warning that not all spaces could be analysed. The report will list all the occupied zones where building class could not be identified from the schedule name. If the report shows an unexpectedly large number of occupied hours outside the target temperature range, it is worth double checking that the activity and air conditioning schedules for your building model match the assigned NCC building class of the space. If these schedules are out of alignment, the plugin could be analysing hours where the mechanical systems are not working. Also note that the temperature target range has hard limits. A zone temperature of 24.01 degrees, for example, will be counted as out of range if the upper limit of the target temperature range is 24 degrees. It may be necessary to alter the environmental control set point slightly so that the zone temperature stays completely within the target range during occupied hours. The comfort check is quite stringent. If the report shows an unexpectedly large number of occupied hours where the thermal comfort values are outside the target range, even though the temperature is controlled, you may be seeing a large contribution from the radiant temperature of the space. This is most likely in highly glazed spaces. Design modifications may be required. 